everyone. Today we're going to end the fall sweater series with these two trends you'll see everywhere right now. First, the split side sweater. I think a simple detail like this can make any boring sweater way more versatile. And the sweater scarf. Although not a new trend, I definitely think it will continue for a while. So why not reuse an old sweater to keep your neck nice and warm this season? And definitely please check the description box for the link to my complete sweater lookbook as well as the tutorial for a really cool belted back slit sweater. Okay, let's get right into these two simple tutorials. For the side split sweater, I started with this sleeveless sweater that I thrifted. First, try on the sweater and mark how high you want your slits to go. Now cut a slit on each side right next to the side seam of the sweater up to where you marked. Now again, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can do this same look on a very tightly woven sweater, a sweatshirt, or any jersey knit material. Okay, now to the sewing machine. Quick tip, if you don't have matching thread, just use the two closest colors you have for a nice mixed effect. Now we're gonna use a zigzag stitch. I set my width to six and my stitch distance close to one. Now we'll just zigzag along the edge, allowing the right side of the stitch to go just barely over the edge. You'll be able to see a closer view of this when we do the scarf. For the no sew version, just simply apply fray check to the edges like this. So now we're done with this one. Now onto the scarf. I started with this sweater that fits fine, but it's way too warm for Houston winters. And FYI, the longer the sweater, the fuller the scarf will be. But I'll show you how to manage with a fairly short sweater like this. First, we'll cut a straight line across the sweater right under the arms. Now for a longer sweater, just zigzag or fray check the edges and you're done. But shorter sweaters need a bit more definition to make them fall properly around your neck. So let's turn it inside out and cut the sides so they are angled like this. Now just zigzag the seams closed using your hands to guide the fabric through the sewing machine. You definitely have to watch it, especially if your scarf is thick. If you don't have a sewing machine, just use fabric glue. And there you have it, two fall trends that are really easy to DIY. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, bye.